ahead is the enemy's town. It may be a little difficult, but go ahead and attack them. Attacking a town is somewhat more complicated than fighting on open ground because a wall protects your enemy. When you take a town, however, it provides you with more gold per day as well as another source of recruiting troops. Good luck. I'm not going to take the town. Once you've conquered the blue town, be sure to take over everything in this area marked with a blue flag before you attack the enemy hero. That's to generate... Uh, to generate better scores, I think. You're approaching a magic well. Whenever you see these, you should visit them, especially if you've been casting a lot of spells in combat. Magic wells raise your mana, or spell points, to their maximum. Only one visit per day is allowed. Magic well, you drink from the well. A drink from the well has restored your spell points to maximum. That's just usual DD thing. And Yavarkas, you. You go help me. Today, I build the Cyclops Cave. These are powerful missile troops capable of causing a lot of damage. Believe me, I accidentally angered one once, and he tore down my house with the throw of a single boulder. <laughs> uh, game. But they are powerful. Just that they have only plus four growth. Make sure you visit the Cyclops cave above. There is an important lesson to be learned there. But really, Winston Baraga. <sighs> now I'm going to let you build whatever you like. You're a barbarian now. You gotta show a little independence. You can concentrate on building the creature upgrades, or maybe structures like the Hall of Valhalla. It's your choice. If you're not sure what I'm building does, just read the information provided in the capital screen. I think the goblins, when they die, scream Hall of Valhalla! <laughs> Alright, let's trade. And we're out of places to tro give troops to. And, hmm. yeah, this should be okay. And I'll go here. You go to the Cyclops here? Or Actually, um, no. I'm going to take this. A warning! Higher level creature generators, such as the Cyclops Cave, are defended. So in order to take them, you must first defeat the creatures that are protected. Fight the creatures, and then you'll be able to hire troops at the same time from this generator each week. Much to your dismay, the Cyclops Cave is guarded by several of the Cyclopes. Cyclopes. Do you wish to fight the guards? Several deep. Rocks go out of my way. There were one hex creatures. And uh, freighters. Go somewhere here. 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 And let's start the combat. And we can reach them. Nice. We also have spells. Very much useful spells right now. Yeah. Casualty 
least that's good. Mm, that's it. 120 experience. Would you like to recruit Cyclopes? Not really. I don't have the required provisions to support them. There is only one more enemy to attack. Ahead, the rider on the horse with the blue flag is the enemy. They usually move around like you, taking mines and picking up resources. They will also attack you if they think they can win the battle. Let's show our enemy who is the boss, and if you manage to win the battle, you will have beaten the map. I'll take mine. And then go kill Bok. And alright. You get this. Anything else? Not really. Basic scouting. Basic scouting allows your hero to see one square further into the shroud. No thanks. And Dessa, you go take this. And let's build. The keeper of the mill announces, My lord, I am sorry, there is no gold currently available. Please try again next week. Alright, let's attack the castle. They have a lot of hop goblins here. Flying creature that can, that can fly over this. Also, the main building has an attack skill of 10 and does 14 to 21 damage. That's interesting, usually it's called the keep. The upper tower has an attack skill of 10 and does 8 to 12 damage. The lower tower has an attack skill of 10 and does 8 to 12 damage. I'm not actually certain about the attack skill. Um, what does it actually do? You have the attack skill, defense skill, shots, damage, health, and speed. I'd imagine that your attack skill boosts damage and the defense skill uh, negates the attack skill of enemies. That would make sense. In that case, the attack skill of 10 and 10 damage mean 20 damage to an, an armored opponent. Also, if I remember correctly, the towers can uh, shoot better if uh, you are close to them. Right, you go here. Also, you can, in fact, defeat the catapult, but you need a really high-level spell or a high-level creature, or a lot of them. What the... game? Kidding me. Oh, thank God for the ballista. 
I lost 8 hobgoblins. And nearly a thousand experience, not bad. Let's see, expert defense or basic ballistics? Game? You're making fun.